Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're going to talk about something near and dear to my heart. We're going to talk about innovation in mining. Let's stop gabbing. Let's get into it. Spin that intro. Hey, Futured Altered here with an Altered Future. Before we tear into today's video, I just want to make a great suggestion. If you love mining content, jump over into 3 Fox Co's channel. I'll make sure to link it down in the description. This guy does amazing mining content. His last video about solar mining, man, it's beautiful, it's professional. Make sure to check it out. You will not be disappointed. Now let's get back to the present or the future or would it be the past? I don't know. Let's tear into today's video. Welcome. Today I wanted to do a quick video on something that's near and dear to my heart. Innovation in mining. We have come so far in the last five years in mining. It, it blows my mind to think where we were to where we are now today. In the not so distant past, I had a single computer with a couple of graphics cards and that was my mining rig then i expanded and i built a custom wood frame that sat right on top of my tower and i ran some really cheap old school risers up there and i had two or three extra cards on top and then eventually i built out a wooden frame and then miners just find a way to improve to make things better to make things function to get more hash rate out of everything we do and today I want to cover that. So let's go over a couple of the really amazing, innovative mining ideas that have came about through the years. I've already touched on some of our custom made frames. I remember back in the day, Brandon Coyne made videos about shoe rack builds and I've even done a shoe rack build and I'll put a video up of that above on that. And, and those kind of ideas are great budget oriented ideas on how to get around to solve an equation, a mining equation. How do we make things better, more efficient, cheaper? That is the name of the game. So today we're gonna look at some of these other items and discuss what's so great about them and why they are so amazing. Of course we can search back and we can look at some of the earlier mining frames and and we can see the evolution of these things and we can see, of course, how the technology, the graphics cards, the mining software have evolved over time. And of course, there are items like the risers. The risers were complete junk back in the day. They, you had to get them in just right and then they would not make good contact and you had to try to get them to stand upright in the PCIe slot and then one would just stop randomly showing in your Windows operating system. Those battles have been elaborated on and they've got better. The risers have got better. You can get risers with 10 capacitors on there for ultimate power delivery. And I don't know that necessarily 10 capacitors are really better than eight capacitors, but that's what they all claim. And so anyway, that's where we're at. The risers are better. The motherboards are better. The mining's better. The bio settings, the the miners themselves, the mining pools, the graphics cards, everything is better. But let's get off of that tangent. What I want to showcase are some of these really inventive small miner ideas. Of course, at some point we stopped using the shoe rack builds as much and we all moved to wire shelving to your cheap $20, $30 wire racks that you can get from Amazon, that you can get from Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart, any style black wire racking. And with that, we were using zip ties. We were just hooking those GPUs up however we could to make them dangle nicely. Then along come the GPU hanger. These were made specifically from Misfit Mining and the great Baldini, and he had a great design on these things. This is actually a glow in the dark one sent to me by Chump Change. And this will hook onto your GPU, and then from your GPU, you can literally clip it up and hang it, and your whole graphics card will just dangle nicely from your wire rack shelving. And this has been great, and I know they've sold a ton of these, and a lot of miners love these, and they still use the wire racking. Now, 
other items. Chump Change also sent me some amazing fan clips. And these nice little 3D print clips allow you to easily connect multiple 120 millimeter fans. So then other items, we have riser clips, of course, that make sure that your riser plugs into your motherboard at a nice 90 degree angle. And so it doesn't wobble, it doesn't have bad connection. Those have been an intelligent idea that are well known. Then they have side riser clips because some of the USB shoot sideways off of the motherboard. Um, other ones is the one to four clip that the one to four PCIe adapter, this holds it up nice and straight and keeps a good connection for it. Um, and then we'll go over these items. We're gonna show the unboxing of these guys because these are special. These just all came to me from TQ Designs not too long ago and I wanna highlight these. And these items came to me from J Trav. Let's take a look at all of these up close and then let's discuss them and exactly what their real world application is and why they are so valuable to the mining community as a whole. Let's go take a look at them. All right, let's check out some of these items. So these are just your standard PCIe clips and I picked up a 50 pack of these off of, these were actually from Amazon. This though is even more creative. So of course you have the side mount clips where you can do the side risers or that these are all standard top mount clips. These are th uh, not 3D printed. These are actually injected molded. So these are actually a lot more solid and have left less give to them than say your 3D prints. But then somebody had the brilliant idea on some riser slots, you cannot get a standard one over top of the slot because it'll have a capacitor in the way or some other piece in the way. So this actually comes from the side and it's a very creative way around that issue. So this is very innovative. It's a small little clip. It's 3D printed, but it's very smart. It's very intelligent. It's very innovative. So then next, uh, let's look at these. These are those fan clips that from Chump Change and they're beautiful. They got the little Chump Change XD logo and these will hook your 120 millimeter fans together. And of course, here's the GPU hanger. This one is a glow in the dark, so it doesn't show real well, but that's what it says, Misfit Mining right there. And those are pretty sharp. And then this course, this clip right here that we're gonna look at here in a minute is the one to four clip. So we're gonna look at all of these. We're gonna unbox these and go over each one of these from TQ Design separately next. But let's go ahead and look at these items. These were created by my man, Jay Trav. If you don't know who Jay Trav is, he does great mining content. I'll make sure to put a link to his channel down in the description. Go check his stuff out. You won't be sorry that you did. These are a pretty brilliant idea. So a lot of us have the 12 GPU sluice type mining rig frame from triple a wave and a lot of us use the generic because they're the same exact thing so the problem with them is that you couldn't easily stack them now recently they've came out with some metal brackets that make them stacked and chump change even put out a video showing these off and he'll be giving away some of these i believe but these were created a few months ago by my man jay trav and what's brilliant about these is one you stick them on the top of the frame you set you set them right on top of your frame and then you could easily drop your other one right in on top and because they're wide and bulky it'll drop right down onto it and then the other really smart piece of this is there's a buffer in between a solid piece in the middle and that solid piece gives you extra clearance between the top of your GPUs and the bottom of the next frame that gives you that extra little bit of space and that is a really quality to have that extra space. So what else did we get? J Trav also custom made me some items and what these are, these are 3D printed clips to hold a ATX power supply. This is to hook a GPU to and these are the two screw holes for a GPU IO bracket and these are mounts for a motherboard standoffs and what these do they slide onto this type of metal and this is called 2020 aluminum extrusion and this is really nice solid amazing metal to build with it's a kind of a pricey way to do it but some frames actually come with this type metal so now if you need to use this and build in a frame and you need to mount your motherboard these will slide right onto that 2020 
and then it'll lift your motherboard up conveniently off of the metal and give it a nice buffer. These will slide onto here and then you can hook your GPU onto your 2020. And then this will also hook to the 2020. And I had them made all these for me because I'm going to make a really nice 2020 frame and I've got all the parts. I just got to find some time to get those things made. So there is a whole bunch of innovation right here on this small table. Great Baldini, TQ Designs. I got Jay Trav with these designs here. I got another YouTube created these files. Another eBayer created these. These are actually injected and those are harder to find. This is a really intelligent design. All of these little items here have made mining easier. It has made mining better. And that's the goal. That's the goal is to get the mining as easy and efficient and productive as possible. Now let's go check these out. We'll unbox them and we're gonna get them set up and show you exactly what these are and how they function. Check these out. So you're probably like, okay, what exactly are these? Well, these are made to hook onto wire shelf wire racking and they basically snap in like so and this will hold your keyboard we'll check all this stuff out on the rack and in action in just a second next what else we got <clears throat> so these guys they look kind of similar but these ones these nice short guys here they actually are designed to hold a seven inch screen like your cumin seven inch screen that many of us use for a display out for our mining rig rather than having a real monitor hooked and they hook right onto the wire racking same way and they have a nice little slot that clips in the bottom for the pcb part you have to make sure the frame's not on the uh, screen and then it clips in on the pcb and then snaps in on the top and your screen hangs right there conveniently on the side of the wire rack and what else is in here this one this is kind of a random item. What this is designed for is, see it looks like a hand grip. This actually hooks onto a side of a ladder. Not anything to do with mining per se, but this hooks onto your standard step ladder. Your aluminum edge would go here like underneath the step. And then when you hang it up on the wall or pick it up and carry it, you have kind of a, a handle. It's kind of a neat little design. And finally, this one's really innovative, and I've always big, been big on GPU hangers. I usually advocate for the ones from the Misfit Mining Discord, but these are pretty innovative. This is a different, unique design than any of the mimicking ones that I've seen around town. This is your hanger, but it is an adjustable hanger. So it actually has a slide so that you can conveniently mount one hanger on multiple different size and variants of wire rack shelving. Most GPU hangers, you have to get specify, you have to specify what type of wire rack you have. That way the spacing is correct and you can actually clip them on. This guy is, is, uh, is pretty nifty. This is the first time I've ever seen an adjustable GPU hanger. So let's go ahead and take a close-up look of all of these items in action. Okay, let's get a look at some of these items up close and personal. Let's start with this power switch here. Let's see if we can get a good focus on that guy. There it is. So it's just your standard cheapo push-button toggle, and then it has a nice little casing, and it has a slit so that it will hook right onto the side of the motherboard, and then it plugs in like standard, and then you just don't have your little push-button tied to the frame or dangling obnoxiously. Nice little design there. So next is your one-to-four splitter uh, clip. So here's where it's just clipped over. You have it hooked into your normal slot, and then right over here, it loops over the top and it clicks onto the side. And what that does is it keeps your adapter standing nice and straight up and down. Next, side mount clip. This is for the version 008S, actually. And so the USB would come out of the back side here and straight out this way. And this will still give you a nice clip and to keep it straight up and down and firmly into that PCIe slot. And then your standard clip 
for your vertical and these are pretty normal and lots of people have that specific design but these are really solid good clips so those three items right there are pretty handy now let's move on to the bigger and better innovation this is my Kumin seven inch screen one of them i haven't used this one yet and it's going into my next 12 card rig and the clips the 3d printed clips just click into the actual pcb it has a little slot if i could focus on it there it is and there it is see it's clicked in there and then it runs across the back and it has these clips on the top that click in and then you hook this whole thing right onto your wire rack and your screen dangles like so next is the uh, my favorite right here this is not a standard gpu hanger it's not some cheap 3d print like a lot of us use and buy this is a solid it looks like injection molding and i'm pretty sure it is an injection mold let's look real close you don't see the 3d printed lines and it's in one solid piece yeah see there's the pens so this isn't a, a standard cheap 3d print and like i said it's adjustable so your ends just clip in right there and then it on the other side you have your little retaining screw right there and then what you can do is these guys let's get a better view these guys right here will slide back and forth to get you your proper spacing for whatever wire rack that you're going to use and we'll hook that on in just a second so next let's look at this keyboard mount this wire rack here is no longer being used for mine rig it's got a lot of my overstock those are all full with different fans i got a brand new keyboard there gp or pcie wires a couple extra server power supplies breakout boards all the fun stuff you need so right here so these will clip on right here onto the back and then you can move them around and they do have slots for where they connect in where there's a cross me member so that you can easily move them around and they're very versatile and your keyboard sets on just like so on the front of your wire rack yeah same thing for our little cumin screen let's go ahead and just clip it on here and see how it looks if i could see what i'm doing and there our screen is clipped on right to the front very nice and easy and it does have slots for cross members as well if you need to all right quick note on this make sure you take out all of your protective caps i didn't and then they wouldn't slide properly to adjust but there it is mounted and there are our clips this will be pretty hard to do one-handed since it's adjustable and you gotta kind of adjust it as you do it yeah, that was pretty painful one-handed two-handed be pretty easy because you just hook the back hook on and then you slide you put the other one through the slot slat that you want and then you slide it in until it's nice and snug and there you go there's your beautiful hanger and like i said these are not cheap 3d print these are injection mold so these are really innovative i'm not much on shilling items or promoting things that i don't believe in but i think these are super nice and that's what i love about the mining space we just keep being more innovative we keep sharing our designs our ideas we keep trying to improve make better hash rate we're making better miners it's just about the community and about the journey that we all are in together let's go cut to that outro well, there you have it. Innovation in mining. We've shown you some of these amazing, innovative products. Innovation in mining is, is not just about where we are. It's about where we've came from and it's about where we're heading. Let's keep being innovative. Let's keep getting more efficient. Let's keep getting that hash rate, baby. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pew.